What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Ho, 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 do you nerd for VGM. Ooh. Do you nerd? There it is, best time of the month, Video Games Monthly, a monthly subscription service that sends retro gaming goodness straight to your door after you fill out a list of all the games that you already own so they don't send you any duplicates, plus pick the consoles and handhelds that you want. Breathe. Can't rip it down the side. We subscribe to the three tier box, but sometimes we get some extras in there. Lady Lacey always likes to open the box, give me some hints, see if I can guess what we've got. So let's see if we got some good stocking stuffers. Don't put this on a computer. <laughs> we got our yearly magnetic calendar from them for 2021 and just saying, who's hoping for a better year. Uh, their new business cards, win three free games, share a picture of what you got on social media. You Bring. could be a wiener. Bring. Was that two? Yeah. Did we get two up? Two up! Sweet! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Well, the first one is a tiny game. So handheld. Uh-huh, and it's on a Nintendo system. Game Boy. Uh. Game Boy Color. Uh. <laughs> game Boy Advance. Yeah! We were going to get there eventually. Eventually, yes. Okay. I have a costume of this. Um, Catwoman. No, I don't have a Catwoman costume. Harley Quinn. I don't have a Harley Quinn costume. She totally does. She... Uh, is she blushing? <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Uh, sub, uh, one of your Renaissance Festival costumes? No, it's an animal. Uh, oh, um... Uh, purple, <laughs> fire, got wings, Spyro, his name's Spyro, because yep. we've used that in a video. <laughs> Spyro, wow. oh Spyro 2, Season of Flame. I have not got to play the Spyro games on the GBA, but I do remember seeing them. There were so many Game Boy Advance games that I wanted to play but I didn't start picking them up really proactively until I had picked up a Game Boy player so that I could play them on the TV. So this will be a lot of fun. I don't think this is it. I think it's called like Orange, but there are some Spyro and Crash games I would like to get because they're like crossovers, which I always, I'm a sucker for crossovers. Well, this is still a tiny Game Boy Advance. Okay, yeah. so is it another Game Boy Advance? Is this the crossover one? That'd be pretty cool. Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> this has a look-alike Cloud Strife on the cover of it. Oh, no. Uh, look-alike Cloud Strife. That could be like any anime character. Oh. 1996. It's a Konami game. Okay, well, that's not uh, Kingdom Hearts. That was kind of the first thing I was thinking of. I don't know if there's even a Game Boy Advance game anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to pass on this one. I don't think I can narrow that one down enough. You, he, oh. Oh, you, oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, he's got the blonde hair and it's spiky. Yu-Gi-Oh! Trials to Glory. I know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh! But Sega Head, I think, has been checking out some Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff lately. So I may have to touch base with him and see if he's ever tried this one out. Gosh, this one's heavy. There's that word again. Is there something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull in the future? So this is a uh, N64 Japanese. Ooh, oh, Japanese. I was going to say, suck it, Chris, at Telesplash Gaming, but he doesn't care about Japanese ones. Huh? It's from 1999. <laughs> I think a lot of games were from 1999. And you're going to bathe in 64. What? <laughs> it looks like it says bath 64. <laughs> oh I don't my know god. What that is to even bath guess with that. 64. <laughs> <laughs> Ogre 
Battle 64. It looks like Bath. Which, um, <laughs> I, I, I could see that. So, Ogre Bathe 64. Yeah. Is, you gotta watch those ogres. They get stinky. Is the uh, the touching tale of Ooh, a don't touch them in the bath. That's no four no. person role playing <laughs> adventure party who stumble upon a uh, baby ogre in the woods. You who's gotta bathe them. Filthy, and so they go on to bathe him, and hilarity ensues. Think of uh, three men and a baby, but in a fantasy setting. Add one extra guy and turn the baby into an ogre. Like Shrek? And that's exactly what this game is. Guaranteed, you guys. Is that for you real? Have the, you have the do you nerd guarantee of that plot. No, it is a uh, strategy RPG, but with this being a Japanese game, I'm not gonna have a lick of sense to know what to do. Not that I would probably know what to do even in the oh, American version. I wanna play version. the other game. <laughs> that other game sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so we're going to switch systems away from Nintendo. <laughs> okay, see, now it just feels like you're telling me Nintendo Switch, but I know they don't have that one no. yet. This is away from the Nintendo system. Okay, so something, uh, probably Sega. Yes. I sense balance has been restored. And okay. what did you first guess that I dressed up as, which I don't have a costume of? Oh, uh, Catwoman? Yeah, so she's in this. Is this, uh, Batman Returns? Yes. On Genesis? Nice. I cannot remember if I already had this game. If I do, then it's probably my fault that it's not in our list. But the other problem is Batman Returns was on, like, so many systems that I might be thinking of something else. I might be thinking of the Sega CD one. I loved Batman Returns on Super Nintendo. Oh my gosh, what a great beat em up game. In fact, depending on the difficulty, it changes the ending. So if you beat the game Ooh. on the highest difficulty, you get the full ending, which I encourage Captain Algebra to do. Thanks, Jingles the Dog. <laughs> but no, I did encourage him to do it, and honestly, I knew that he would because Cap is a beast. Son of a Here's the interesting thing. This was back when a game would be released on like two different consoles or multiple consoles and they would be nothing alike. So this game is totally different from the Super Nintendo version, which is all the better to have it in the collection yes. because it's like, now you get that whole Batman Returns vibe from the get-go again. It's like, it's like a brand new game. We were talking about baths, so they need to take a bath. <laughs> I know why we got a Tua. Okay. Because they sent me to, a game. To rub it into Tony's face. No, got they it. sent me a game. <laughs> so, um... Because I don't think you'd want this game. So this is my game. Okay. I feel like I can narrow this down to either... I would say an Animal Crossing game, but I'm pretty sure we have all of them. Unless it's the Japanese one, which would be really cool. That would on 64. be awesome. Um, uh, Harvest Moon because you loved the Harvest Moon games, or a Sims game. The second one. A Harvest Moon? No, the second one that you said. That you said Harvest Moon or Sims. Oh, well, yeah, I guess if you uh, get rid of the Animal Crossing. So a Sims game. Yeah. Castaway. Oh, is this a dual pack? I think it's a, a different, like a not American release. It's got to be an American release because over here it's ESRB. But in the UK, it's Peggy 18. Oh, well, it looks like it's French on there, so I don't know why it says French name. Okay, yeah, it does look like it, it's two games because it has the title on here twice, but yeah. So, The Sims 2, or if you prefer, Les Sims 2 Naufragé. I don't speak French. <laughs> But look but at see, that. even the, the manual has it on there. It's complete. Got the booklet. Nice. And the Thank game. you guys. So I'm totally claiming this. Tom does not get this game. Yeah. This is my game. Not too shabby. No. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the Spyro game because I've always been curious in that. And Batman Returns, because I think I've played a little bit of that, but that might have been on like an emulator or something. And it's great that you have something to play I know. while I'm busy checking I've played out. it on the computer and I played it on the Wii. So I'm super excited to check this out on Portable. 
and I keep screaming and screaming and no one is listening when I want them to release Sims 4 on the Switch. But they won't do it. You guys should listen. I know. Makes money. I know. Well, now I've got a portable one, so. <laughs> well, it's also a good thing we got Batman Returns because otherwise it is nothing but Nintendo love across the board. Ooh. Well, nerdlings, please drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of any of these games if you've tried them out. And give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You might just see us in the new year with a brand new box. I think you will. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh and hey guys, they have merchandise now too. And if we like it, we nerd it for Castaway Coconuts. Swear to me. That's where, the wrong Batman. Where did you put the coconut? It's the wrong Batman. <laughs> Batman's voice is universal. <laughs> Not when you mean Christian Bale. No, wait. Batman's voice is Warner Brothers. Wrong production <laughs> studio. Whoops. It's okay. I'm Bruce Wayne. I can pay for that. <laughs> Why don't you oh, just no. buy the studio? Oh, no. I told you I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to... He tells everybody who he is in, like, every movie. What? No, I don't. You're Batman? No. You're Batman. Binder things. Binder things. Let's do this! Hey, girl. Okie dokie. Let's do this. December! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Zoop!